As we slide into the last week of September, it's also the last week of the quarter. So portfolio managers, hedge funds, etc., will all be looking to reposition portfolios this week for the reporting period that's coming up. Good morning. Welcome to Three Minutes of Markets and Money. I'm your host, Lance Roberts. Not surprisingly, last week, despite a very sharp down open on Monday, the markets actually rallied back into the green for the week. Pretty amazing as we talk about the pickup and volatility here as of late. A couple of good things that did happen last week, though, of course, and this is why we started adding exposure back to our portfolios on Tuesday and Wednesday of last week. Money flow buy signals have now turned positive, so we now have a buy signal that now corresponds with this rally in the markets. Also, the market did rally back above the 50-day moving average, so importantly here, over the next day or so, the market needs to maintain that 50-day moving average. Resistance right now currently sits just above this. You've got the 40-day and the 20-day moving average just ahead. So we've got to get through those levels of resistance. If we can clear those moving averages, particularly the 20-day moving average, by the end of the week, that's going to set up a rally to all-time highs here. Lots of support here for the market's near-term portfolio rebalancing for the end of the quarter. After the sell-off that we had over the previous three weeks, asset allocations by portfolio managers are underweight. So that's going to lead to a bit of buying here over the course of of the week to get those portfolio allocations back in line for end of the quarter reporting, as I said. And moving into the end of the year is the seasonally strong period of the year. And with a lot of portfolio managers now really trailing performance of the market this year, they're going to be trying to play catch up in performance into the end of the year as well. That's going to suggest more buying power here, confirming this money flow buy signal. So again, over the next couple of weeks, there is going to be an upside bias to markets. Are we out of the woods entirely just yet? Absolutely not. Things that are coming up this week of importance, of course, numerous Fed speakers talking about and will be confirming that the Fed is going to announce taper in November and start that process shortly thereafter. That whole taper timeline fairly accelerated, looking to get the tapering done and completed by middle of 2022. That's going to potentially lead to a pickup in volatility. The Fed's going to have to do a really good job of communicating to try to keep the market stable during that process. The other side of this, of course, is the entire vote that's going on right now on Capitol Hill between the debt ceiling debate issue, trying to get the continuing resolution done, fund the government to keep it from defaulting on its debt, and of course, passing the infrastructure bill and the human infrastructure bill. Huge amounts of debate this week could certainly lead to a bit of volatility here. Not as much concerned about that in the short term. Again, the bias is to the upside here at the moment. But again, those are things worth paying attention to. I'm your host, Lance Roberts, for three minutes of market. Markets and money. See you back here tomorrow.